Hey everyone, it's Bearded RDU coming to you from Raleigh, North Carolina, and welcome to episode three of Beards and More. Today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a small batch company that started in the summer of 2020, but I'm also going to start testing out a new style format. So I'm going to use a little bit of my creativity and my interests. I'm a PA announcer on Friday nights for the high school that I teach at. But I also have long time aspirations of becoming involved in the pro wrestling industry. I still would love the opportunity to become a ring announcer at some point. So to introduce the companies, I am going to use some of that background. If you enjoy this video, remember to leave feedback, especially about the new format. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up, give me a like. And then also, if you like my videos and my reviews, make sure you hit subscribe and then ring that bell to get notifications anytime I release a new video. So, on that note, are you ready? I said, are you ready? Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let's get ready to product review! Beard product fans, those with beards, those without. Beards and more would like to introduce to you our next review. Coming from Sixth Borough Beard Company, out of Jersey City, New Jersey. The oil comes in a one ounce bottle and the balm in a one ounce tin canister. It has a scent profile of Egyptian amber, leather, and cedar. Smelling like it's straight out of the prohibition, I give to you Speak Easy. Wow, that was exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making that, put a lot of effort into it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me some positive feedback, even some constructive criticism. Let me know if there's something you would change. But enough about that. Let's go on and talk more in detail about the company and the product that we're reviewing today. So first, I'd like to introduce Six Borough Beard Company, the company that makes Speakeasy. This company was founded in the summer of 2020 by two best friends in Jersey City, New Jersey. And these two best friends, they have a passion for craft beers and cocktails and really appreciate the work and effort that go into these cocktails. They also told me that throughout their entire personal and professional careers that they've really focused on having a great grooming routine, especially around their facial hair. And they kind of got tired of using the big brand companies, especially since they, and they said this, had difficulty pronouncing half of the ingredients on the back, which I know being fairly new, I had the same issue and now I figured out jojoba, jojoba. See, I learned quickly. Now, these two best friends, they decided that rather than using these big brain companies, that they would combine the two things that they find interesting, taking care of themselves and the artisan style of making beverages. And so they worked together to start Six Borough Beard Company. Now, what is Six Borough Beard Company all about? Well, first of all, they're a small batch company based out of Jersey City, New Jersey, as I said earlier, and they really are focusing on artisan style of oils, balms, and waxes. They really take pride in what they do, and as a young brand that is constantly growing, they love the feedback. So you can also leave them feedback in the comments, or you can go to their Instagram, which I will share um, at the end and in the description for this video. But they really like that feedback and they will take suggestions for future fragrances that people want to wear. Their company is based on the idea, and this is their quote, no matter where you're from or what you do, quality for yourself should always rise above all else. They also told me that they can now pronounce all the words on their labels. Now that I've told you about Six Borough Beard Company, let's get into their products and specifically the scent profile of Speakeasy. Now before I give this to you, I do want to remind you that I'm a fairly new consumer to beard products, so in no way am I an expert by any means, but I do know that things that I prefer maybe aren't things that you would prefer, but please take this as um, a legit honest opinion. I am not um, paid by Six Borough Beard Company for this. I actually won this product in a giveaway, but enjoyed it so much that I felt that a review should be done. Like they deserve it. It is great quality product. Now with Six Borough Beard Company, they do have five different scents um, at this time that you can purchase on their website, which is through Etsy. I'm putting that link down in the video description below. 
But in this video, I'm going to focus specifically on one scent, which is their newest scent, Speakeasy. Now, before we get into Speakeasy, I would like to tell you their oils on Etsy are $15 for a one ounce bottle. Their ingredients are argan oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, black castor oil, and grapeseed oil, and they use all natural fragrance oils. Their balms are $18 for a one ounce canister, which is slightly smaller than other companies. And if there was one thing that I would kind of give them criticism about or give them feedback on is that that canister of balm is a little bit smaller than other companies, but it is fantastic quality. The ingredients are the same as the oils, except they add shea butter into it. You can also buy combos, which also come with a double tooth comb, which since I got mine in a giveaway, I didn't get that comb, so I can't really review the comb. But understand that's what you get. So please check them out on Etsy. All right, so speakeasy. Now, when I won the giveaway, I wasn't sure what I was going to receive quality-wise, as with them being a newer company, you kind of get nervous about that a little bit, especially new and not really knowing much about the beard product industry yet. But now that I've been in it for a while, I felt like they really deserved a review. It is fantastic product. Now, one of the things I wish I had done was record the unpackaging of the product when I got it in the mail. My son, he's 12 years old, and he laughed his rear end off because I opened it up and I was like, oh, look, and it was the fancy packaging here. I'll even show you. So it came in this bottle here. All right, so it's a amber bottle, and I love their logos, their labels. They're pretty unique. Kind of got that vintage um, 1920s style thing, which kind of goes with their theme. Um, has the gold lib, a, lid, and it has a dropper. So it's got a squeeze dropper. Um, and then the tin comes in like this. It's a gold tin, which is really neat, um, with the same logo. Now, why it was funny is because I opened it up, and I was like, oh, this is neat. And I kind of went to open it and smell it. And I opened it, and I was like, I opened it, and I went, and I was like, oh, my goodness. I believe that this is what heaven might smell like. And I'm not joking around. Like I now have a whole slew of product and this is definitely in my top three scents. I wear this one. Like I've worn this one last three days in a row. I love this. It's really, really good. And I will talk about it in just a second about the profile and that kind of stuff too. Now in the packaging on top of me getting super excited about the smell and be like, Oh, this is so good. And I think there were some expletives of excitement that came out as well. Um, within the packaging that also came with a pin, a Six Borough Beard Company pin, and a variety of company stickers with their brand and logo on it, which is super exciting. I've actually started put, put all those stickers on the back of my computer, which is super exciting and cool. My students love it. Now, the scent profile is Egyptian Amber, Leather, and Cedar. Now, as a history teacher, I always try to imagine what different time periods were like using the five senses. And this is exact, almost exactly what I imagine walking into a speakeasy during Prohibition times to smell like, minus the smoke. All right, there is a little bit of a musky, like smoky smell to the scent, but it's not so overbearing. Um, the amber, it gives off a great sweet smell blended with a woodsy and subtle musk scent. Um, that really stands out to me. The leather, it kind of sneaks through the amber. It's not overbearing or overwhelming. You get little hints of it, um, and it's definitely not too intense. Um, I personally don't get much of the cedar smell, though, um, but that's just my sniffer. It might pick up things a little bit differently than yours, but it may help that the woody fragrance from the amber um, stands out a little bit more. That might be what keeps the cedar down a little bit. So the scent profile is fantastic. So now I'm going to discuss the quality of the oil. The oil, in my opinion, has a medium viscosity, so it's not real runny, not real liquidy, but it's also not sticky in the hand. It warms up nicely and then absorbs really well into the beard. And as soon as you put it in the beard, you can feel it kind of absorbing. It doesn't get greasy, but you can also pick up the scent instantly. Um, the scent to me is relaxing. So I put it in as just like, um, as I said, it doesn't leave greasy residue. The scent will last in the beard for most of the day. So even today I had it in and at the end of the school day, I could still smell 
um, aspects of it. It wasn't as full as obviously in the morning, but I could still smell it, which was really, really good. Like, cause I know that some issues with some oils is they don't necessarily last real long. And this one definitely lasts a good six to eight hours, depending on your chemistry and stuff. And obviously this is for me, the balm, this is more of an in-between balm slash butter, in my opinion. Part of this is probably because they don't use beeswax in it. They add shea butter to it. So it comes out to be more of a creamy, buttery substance. So here, I'm going to go over here. And you can kind of see it's not real thick. I was able to just do that with my fingertips. And most balms, you have to kind of scrape it out a little bit. Um, it melts really well, like butter does. So it's kind of that in-between. It's not really... Oh, that smells so good. Oh, I can't get enough of that smell. That is wonderful. All right. Um, so, but because of that, it does not have a real strong hold to it. It doesn't really hold like other balms do. But if you have a longer beard, like now that I'm two months in, it does a pretty decent job of getting some of those stray hairs to go down. But when I was at like, when I first got it, it really had a difficult time getting those stray hairs. So if you have a shorter beard, it might not be the best. Um, but I do like the fact that it's kind of that combination of balm and butter. It's a little bit different. Um, as I mentioned in the introduction, the one criticism that I might have of this product is that the balm butter only does come in a one ounce tin compared to most small batch are coming in either two ounce or four ounce. Um, so that would be my only criticism. But you know what? I love this product. When I run out, I'm going to buy more for sure. Um, and I am so happy that I won this in a giveaway. Like to introduce me to this company is fantastic. All right. So now that we've talked about the oils and the balm slash butter, um, some experiences I have with wearing this product, some other benefits and some experiences that I've had. So I love wearing this product, the scent. Um, it leaves my beard feeling soft and smooth. Even at the end of the day, when the scent is gone, it feels so soft and smooth. Um, it's a little too much though for me to put on my bald head. If you watch my last video, you know I loved putting um, the teacher on my bald head. With this product, it is a little bit stronger smell, so I don't really like to put it on my put this on my bald head. But it is amazing the beard. Um, totally fine with that. I've gotten lots of compliments from my students have smelled it like what is that? It's super cologne. -y. My 12 year old son loves it, um, and he kind of joked around in passing saying, "Hey." this might be my first scent I order when I start to grow facial hair. I'm like, dude, you got a while to go. Um, but one of the funniest stories is when I was at a Carolina Hurricanes hockey game and I was in line at one of the concession stands and there were these two couples standing behind me and the one lady, um, I believe she was a wife or girlfriend, whatever. Um, and she turned around to her friend and the two guys and she's like, Oh my God. She goes, this guy in front of me smells simply amazing. And she didn't think I heard her, but I, I just had to giggle at it and laugh. Um, so just to get those kind of compliments. So I love this stuff. It smells amazing. I highly recommend it. It's quality product, feels great in the beard, leaves it nice and soft, moisturized. And like I said, the cologne scent that it gives off with the Egyptian amber, um, the leather and the cedar is just phenomenal. I love it. Um, highly recommend it. So if you are interested in Six Borough Beard Company and Speakeasy, check them out on Etsy. I'm going to put their link, like I said, down in the description. You can also check them out at Instagram at Six Borough Beard Company. Um, it's at Six Borough Beard Co. So you can see it there. Check, like I said, check out their website. They've got a total of five cents um, active on their Etsy. I've heard pretty decent things um, from some people that have tried them out, but I can only tell you about Speakeasy, but the scent profiles for the others look really cool. Um, really interested in possibly trying them down the road. Also, please remember to follow me on Instagram at bearded underscore RDU. I now have an email that you can contact me at if you're interested in working with me or if you have any questions or feedback for future reviews. Um, it's bearded.rdu at gmail.com. And as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like the video, click subscribe, ring that bell, and leave positive feedback or criticism in the comments. Um, I will take it seriously. I'm always learning. So please help me out. I'm constantly growing. Thank you for watching. I look sh forward to sharing more videos with all of you. I've got another one coming up soon that I plan on filming in the next couple days called What's Your Brand? And 
hopefully I'll be able to share more reviews with you as well. So as always, rock on.